Hi guys, it's Mr. Tracky. Welcome to episode 5 of my underrated series. In today's episode, I'll be covering the BRM LMG and why I personally feel it's one of the most underrated weapons in the whole of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. More after this. What's good guys? So let's get into the quick class setup first. Got the BRM. Gotta put the Dark Matter camo. I worked hard for that. <laughs> Over to Quick Draw. You're definitely gonna need that as it's LMG. And it's slow to get down your sights. You're gonna need Stuck just to help you strafe a bit more because it is big, bulky, and hard to move with the BRM. Then we're gonna put Fast Mags on. This will reduce the time that it takes to reload. Obviously, being an LMG, it's going to take all day. And then you want to slap on rapid fire. Perks wise, you can choose what you like. I went for overclock, fast hands, just to even get down my sight even faster. And then the traditional dead silence, just to help me pinpoint where people are. Guys, don't you dare switch this video off just because you've seen the, um, <laughs> the actual class setup and gone, uh, go on your console, I know what you like. I've seen in that audience, audience retention, sometimes you disappear. But there's a few important things that I need to tell you about the BRM and it's the, the whole reason I've done this whole video on the actual gun itself. Now, it's often overlooked because one, it's an LMG, so that's the third things people think. Um, I'm one of them. I, I can I cannot stand here and act like I'm an angel. In most Call of Duties, the LMGs have never been guns. I've even touched. I've never even thought about making a class for them. And I tend to see the LMG as that guy lying in the back of the map, just like that geezer there that sh just scoped me, lying on the floor prone, um, who's waiting for someone to walk past so it can get the easy uh, long range kill. Now, when we're talking about long range, this gun is absolutely mental. I, I have yet to yet to encounter a four hit kill with this gun. It's a three hit kill at almost any range. Long, short, super duperly stupid long. I, I've I've taken shots with this gun. Bearing in mind, I've done the Dark Matter Camo Challenge, so I had to use this gun, and I had to complete all the challenges for it. So I got to know it very well, and no matter what map you've thrown at me, uh, well, Treyarch's thrown at me, I've been able to shoot across the map and kill people with three shots. It's phenomenal. Three shots up close, three shots long range. Um, as you can see, I haven't got extended mags on, and I've got 75 bullets in the magazine. Now, do your maths. 75 bullets in the magazine, 3 shots to kill. If you could land all your shots, that is an immense, immense kill streak. Immense kill streak on the one magazine. So, you don't really need to reload with it as such. Speaking of the reload time, with the fast mags, bam, there it is. I think that is pretty decent. For, I'd say that's as fast as a assault rifle without fast mags on, which is music to my ears. Loads of ammo, fast reload time. It's insanely accurate, I personally feel, without grip on. The recoil style with this gun is it actually wobbles from the left to the right. It doesn't go up and down at all. It, 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 it is manageable. If somebody is at a long range, try your best to tap, shut them. All you need to do is get them free shots on target and you will absolutely annihilate people. Um, up close and personal, the rate of fire as you would expect from an LMG is relatively slow but I find it manageable and I have killed quite a few people off the hip. You saw in the intro clip, I've actually been using my scuff to the advantage because as you know I got my scuff the other day and I've been jump shotting people for absolute jolt with this gun. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I didn't really understand how good it was until I actually did the Dark Matter Camo series um, and that's when I actually sat down and thought, wow, this is quite a sweet gun. I know everybody's tending to go to the Dingo, 
but the whole point of this series is to be using stuff that not everybody is using and I think this is an underdog on the basis that it's a level 1 gun it's open when you start the game it's open so you don't have to level up to get this gun it's just a case of people thinking the first gun must be the worst gun and obviously in most Call of Duties that's never been the case um, you would think that the higher you rank the better the guns are but it just doesn't work like that with um, COD uh, as you know so we've covered the pros Mr. Tracky what are the cons well as you've seen guys you've got to use quite a few attachments on this gun uh, so you'll be using primary gunfighter 1 and 2 which will be eating into your perk slots um, think about it thinking about it now um, I've suggested overclock and the likes of dead silence but you could switch that out for flat jacket and tack mask which would make a really viable um, domination class in my eyes um, especially with the 75 bullets you will be slaying them bitches yeah um, Obviously it's a LMG so you got a slow fire rate, it's slower to go down your uh, sight than most guns. D slower is the theme for the LMGs but it is a powerhouse of a gun, 3 shots to kill. Guys that is it for episode 5 of my underrated series, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and as always guys, don't forget to stay on the right track, peace.